Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus freaking gamer here. Do you remember this game? Do you remember this game? Whew. Would you listen to that music? So nice. The Legend of Zelda, many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units link to save her. Dad English, though. Dad English! Oh my gosh. I've got to say, I would never, ever, ever have completed even the first quest without, like, a complete walkthrough. I don't normally do good with, like, finding things and discovering things and just kind of like, where are the secrets? WHERE'S THE BLACKSMITH?! <laughs> I love you, Markiplier! I had to throw in a little reference there. But, where do you find stuff? Where is stuff? Like the Triforce! Where is it? Please look up the manual for details. It does it, and I remember the- I actually was one of those weird kids who read the instruction manual. Like, seamless, flawless looping for The Legend of Zelda. Let's go! And by the way, I'm going to be doing this for about 20 minutes a pop. Just because, again, like I said in Contra, I don't do, um... I do not do... Uh, let's just name this guy, um... J. F. G. Jesus Freak Gamer! Yeah! We'll name him that. He doesn't even have a sword. No, wait, the sword. That's right. The sword stands for second quest. It's coming back to me now. It's going to be a long playthrough. <laughs> oh, man. I love getting into these classics. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yeah, I've never done a swordless run. Don't intend on doing a swordless run. This is going to be a very, very, very long playthrough. And in 20 minute segments, this series is going to last a little. A really long while. So, yeah. There's something on this screen, right? Like an old lady down in one of the, uh... Down in one of the cellars down there behind a tree. I could not... I could never beat this game without a walkthrough or playthrough. I'm sure I'll resort to one, like, off-screen. Like, before segment. I'm like, okay, here's where I need to go. Here's what I need to get. Because otherwise, I would never know. The goal here is to, like, get through the first dungeon. Yeah. And see if I can do that without dying miserably. And I know if you only leave one on the screen, it'll actually... Then you'll only have that one on the screen forever and ever and ever and ever. Which is really super useful. Ooh. Actually, I should definitely be able to do the first de level in less than 20 minutes. This should be like a definite. Might even be able to buy some important stuff. Yay, the last enemy dropped the stopwatch, which freezes all the enemies on the screen and coincidentally makes you invulnerable. That was so useful. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. And by the way, also... I put my face in the upper left-hand corner of the screen because when I... Basically, all you're going to see is like a little dot on the map, but that doesn't mean a whole, whole lot, I don't think. It's much more fun to watch my life meter drain as I suck horribly at the game. And it says inventory in the upper left as well, but you'll still see the inventory item I'm on, complete with the entire screen there. I think that's far more important than watching, uh... than watching just like the map over there. Oh, and you're, you also don't see the level 1 like what level I'm on. I'll try to remember to speak up and say, oh, by the way, here's the dungeon I'm on. Although I'll probably do them mostly in numerical order anyway. But yeah, this is level one, guys. For those of you who didn't know. So many good feelings here. So much nostalgia. This is so great. Shouldn't I have gotten something before coming to the dungeon? I'm just saying. I think I should have. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I think I should have gotten something before coming to this dungeon. 
I am not I am not a speed player. I'm not an incredibly proficient player. I just play for the fun of it, and no, in all these years I have not mastered this game. Eastmo's Peninsula is the secret. Thank you. And why you're allowed to hit the old men there? And not like outside of the dungeon? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't understand. But yeah, apparently that's a thing. And it's definitely it's not my goal to get like necessarily everything in the game. My goal is to beat the first and second quest. Here the second quest makes a radical difference as to whether or not you've completed it. So I uh definitely intend on doing that here. Sweet, I have stuff. Good for me. Diagonal shot. I just always thought the diagonal shot was cool. I don't know how often I ever used it, but I thought it was cool when I did it. When I discovered I could do it. I missed the room. So don't intend on exploring every room or getting every item. Just beating the game. But here it's just like... Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get most of the stuff here. Nope. Diagonal, you didn't do me any good. You did me zero good. I think I sh probably should have gotten like bombs or something first, but whatever. Doesn't really horribly matter. Ooh, nice. Give me that. Give me all the muns. Need many muns. Rupees. Instead of rubies, they're rupees. <laughs> Again, I thought that was fascinating. Supposedly there are like spawn rates and spawn points and everything else in this game. Like, like, oh yeah, like the fourth enemy drops the bomb and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know about none of that stuff. I know, I know about all of zero of those things. I don't do any counting or anything fancy. I just play the game. For a childhood classic, you'd think I would pay a little more attention than that, but nope, not me. Well, that was almost dangerous. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, come on, get in there. Thank you. And run! Despite me hating just the sheer amount of, uh, the sheer amount of not knowing what the fuck I'm doing, this game is still amazingly fun. And once I have a walkthrough and I know where I'm going and what I'm doing, then it's like, hey, I can play the game now. All I've got to do now is actually have the skill to play it. Yay. I am not cool at all. Zero coolness points here. Um. Okay. I was like, do I have to have bombs? No. I can proceed this away. This is completely and totally acceptable. Yes, just stay there where I can hit you with my long distance sword. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Thank you. Bombs would make this more helpful would make this easier. Killing these guys can actually give you stuff, so I'm gonna kill these guys and get stuff. Yes. Uh, no! 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Holy fucking shit. God fucking damn it. See, I told you the profanity's not gonna change just because I went to a Christian camp. I repented of many things, including hypocrisy, and that's good. But cursing I have no problem with because I don't think it's a sin. So all the cursing is gonna happen. And I didn't think items disappeared. I thought those were permanent. Those are not permanent. Thanks for the goddamn fucking watch that I can't fucking use! Appreciate it! So yeah. The cursing continues, now and forever. Unless somehow I'm convinced otherwise. Or it just becomes not a thing. God fucking damn it. If 
I had known that items were temporary, I wouldn't have gone ahead and killed shit. No, wait, that's not right. Yeah, definitely, uh, not the most proficient. Yes, invincibility! And fairies are part of the drop rate, too. Somehow, someway. Man, there were so many muns! Like, what, three blue, uh... Like, three blue rupees. Like, god fucking damn it. And I've still got my throwy throw. So I'm good to go, we go. Oh, yeah. A minor dragon. What did his name? Forget his name. I think I covered every room here. Thank God I'm all. Oh, yeah. So good and strong. And now, where was level two again? Fuck. It probably was not in fuck. Could be wrong. The way these things heal, like once they go into the sand, I think that's annoying as shit. Just saying. Invincibility for the win. I'll take me some invincibility. Wait, I'm seriously curious. Like, don't these guys heal? So you can never kill them unless you somehow have that right there. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I forget where stuff is. I'm already forgetting where stuff is. Doggone it all. I'm thinking like 100 um, rupees up in the corner, or is that the ring in this quest? I honestly forget and do not know. So bad. Just so, so bad. It's all kinds of bad. It's very unacceptable. But I'm gonna go find out. Come on, you tech tights. Come on. Give me the money. Give me all your money. Need all that money. Give me all of your delicious money. Probably should have saved that for later, but who cares? That's of no importance whatsoever. Okay, it is, but I'm gonna pretend it's not. Oh, well, there goes that. There goes my projecting sort of awesome. Is this a gambler right here where, like, you can bet your money? Let's play money-making game. How about we not? Like, I would've... I'd have never known about that otherwise. Okay, first quest, it's 100 rupees. How in the world would I have ever known about that? How would I ever have learned about that? I never would've. Never would've. If it weren't for the guide... It just would never, ever, ever have been a thing. It just couldn't have happened. It just wouldn't have happened. I'll do that. Now I can buy me some potions. And those are gonna come in real, real handy. Because like I've said, I'm not a pro. I'm not great at this game or anything. So, yeah. That's gonna come in super damn duper handy. There's something there. I could really use some Dizong. Oh, uh, that would be that would make me very, very happy right now. Oh, more dangerous enemies here. Again, not good at the game. Oh, nice! Bomb! Cool! Fuck! 
Thank you. Should I have just- can I just walk in right after him or something? Okay, yes I can. Mental note to self. Probably a good idea. I'm really close to like getting the blue ring. And I got me some bombs now, so that's cool. Yes, very nice. Got lots of fast guys here. Use that boomerang for maximum effect. Isn't this like level 2 here? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Give me that. Thank you. Yay, level 2 here. And I think I'm almost at 20 minutes, or I'm close to it, so I'm going to end the episode here. Level 1 is complete. We'll proceed later on with the next episode. Well, later. Yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, because I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not an expert at the game, and this is very, very, very far from a task, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it for whatever reason, because you like me and you support me, or you just like the classics, share this game with a friend. Hit the subscribe button and join the freaks! Love you guys. God bless.